Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is another Dump and Go Crock Pot Desserts Edition video. You guys have been requesting it since my last one. My last one did really well. So you guys seem to really enjoy it. So here we are with another one. So before we get in, today's video is really exciting because it is a collab with my friend Jill over at Miss Green Eyes. You guys are going to love her. She does a lot of Dump and Go videos too. And her and I have teamed up today to bring you the desserts edition. She has two kids, a boy and a girl. They are currently moving right now. She just got her dream home and I'm so excited for her. Um, she's been posting vlogs every day of this whole moving process, which is mind blowing. I'm going to leave her link in my description box for you guys to check out. If you want to head over, make sure that you tell her that I sent you. So if you're coming from Jill's channel and if you've never been here before, I'm Kelly from Kelly's Corner, so welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell before you leave. I do upload twice a week. And if you've watched my other crock pot videos, I do typically try to put screenshot recipe cards up in the video for you, but whenever I use other people's recipes, I don't do that just because I like to give credit to the recipe owner. And so that's what today's video is going to be like. I'm just going to leave their links in my description box so you guys can go you can get the exact measurements from their website i'm not going to put their recipes up on my actual video so if you guys want the actual recipe just click the links down below they will all be down there so yeah let's go ahead and get into this crock pot dump and go desserts edition all right guys this first one is a crock pot candy and it is easter theme so this is perfect to take to any of your easter gatherings or parties so this is everything that you're going to need. I'm going to use a slow cooker liner. This recipe does call for almond bark and I didn't want to be scrubbing almond bark out of my crock pot. You don't have to use a liner. This is totally optional. I'm just using one to make cleanup easier. You are going to need a 24 ounce thing of white almond bark. We are going to use the entire thing. You're also going to need some M&Ms and also some sprinkles and I'm just using these that I already had on hand. And then you'll also need some honey roasted peanut and this is the 16 ounce canister. I'm gonna go ahead and place my liner in. Alright, so I'm gonna start by placing the peanuts in and then we're gonna take the almond bark and set that directly on top of the peanuts. And I'm just going to cook that on low for a couple of hours just until that chocolate melts down. I did go in about halfway through and gave it a stir. And then once it was all melted down, I'm just taking some of these M&Ms and I'm going to place just a little bit in there and stir those in. And then I'm going to take and spoon it out onto this parchment paper. And because the almond bark does kind of cool a little bit fast, I tried to do the sprinkles and M&Ms on top as I went. As you can see, Kane was really excited about these. He could not wait for me to get these done. And they were really good. I just think that they would have been even better with some pretzels. And you can see I was kind of struggling with that crock pot liner trying to scoop out the mixture, but it still was a lot better than trying to scrub this out of my crock pot later. Alright, and that is it for this Easter crock pot candy. Like I said, it's perfect for any of your Easter gatherings or just any parties in general. You could even change up the colors. I think these would be pretty at Christmas time to do like red and green.
All right, this next one is one of the most simplest things ever, and it's always been one of my favorite things to have, and that is Rice Krispie Treats. So you're just gonna need about six cups of Rice Krispies. We're gonna use some of these fruit flavored marshmallows, just about a couple of handfuls. You're also gonna need some mini marshmallows and then a half a stick of butter. So the first thing I'm doing is turning on my crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and set it on high for 30 minutes and get my butter melted. All right, and then I'm just gonna place the lid on and let that go. And then once the butter was all melted, I just took the whole bag of mini marshmallows and placed those in. And I'm just gonna let those go for about 30 more minutes on high, just until the marshmallows are melted. So as you can see, the marshmallows are melted down. So we're gonna take six cups of the Rice Krispies and fold those in. we are just gonna take about two good handfuls of these fruit marshmallows and I just kind of folded those in all right and then once I had those folded in I'm gonna take a 9 by 13 casserole dish and give that a spray and we are gonna press the Rice Krispies down into the dish we're gonna put some sprinkles on top and we're just gonna let those cool. And then once they cool, we'll be able to cut them into squares. Rice Krispies are always one of the easiest and simplest things to make, but they are one of the best things to me. They're my absolute favorite thing to have. All right, and then our next dish reminded me a lot of a cherry cheese danish. It was really good, and we just served it with some vanilla ice cream. All right, so for this, you're gonna need two cans of cinnamon rolls and then one 30 ounce can of cherry pie filling. All right, so I'm gonna start by spraying my slow cooker and we're gonna take one can of these cinnamon rolls and we're gonna go ahead and cut those in half and place those across the bottom of the crock pot. And then once we have those across the bottom, we're gonna take that can of cherry pie filling and pour that on top. And we just wanna spread that out evenly across the cinnamon rolls. And then once that is spread out, we're gonna take our second can of cinnamon rolls and go ahead and cut those in half and place those on top. Now, one thing that the recipe said to do that I would probably change and do a little bit different was it said to go ahead and put the icing from our cinnamon rolls 
on top before it cooks and let the icing cook in there with it. What I would do a little bit different is I would save the icing for the very end when it was all done just because we really couldn't tell the icing was even there once we had let it cook in there with everything. So next time I will save the icing and place it on top once everything is done. All right, and then I just place my lid on and I let it cook on low for three hours. And there is what it looked like. It smelled really, really good when it was cooking too. And we just served it with some vanilla ice cream. Like I said, I would just do the icing a little bit different. I would put it on at the very end instead of letting it cook with everything else. All right, and then the very last one is a strawberry dump cake. And it honestly doesn't get any more simpler than this. You're just gonna need a yellow cake mix, a half a stick of butter, and then one 21 ounce can of strawberry pie filling. So we're just spraying the crock pot, and then I'm gonna take that strawberry pie filling and pour that across the bottom. We're just gonna spread that out evenly, and then we're gonna take that box of cake mix and pour that directly on top of the strawberries. taking my hand and making sure that the cake mix is spread out evenly and we're gonna take our half a stick of butter and go ahead and cut that into cubes and then we're just gonna take and place it all over the top of the cake mix and we're just gonna let it cook on low for three hours once it was done, this is what it looked like. It was really, really good. This would also be good served with some vanilla ice cream. It really honestly doesn't get much simpler than this. And you could even change up the flavors. You could use whatever kind of pie filling you wanted to use. You could also change up the cake mix. These dump cakes are very versatile, but we are definitely gonna be saving this one. And I would also like to try some blueberry. I think that would be really good too. All right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. Like I said, if you are coming from Jill's channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you're notified every single time that I upload. YouTube doesn't always put my videos in the subscription feeds. It's to do with their algorithm. So if you hit the notification bell, you will be notified as soon as I upload a video. We're in the process of redoing my mom's kitchen, so I have a lot of that kind of content coming up. Um, I like to do cleaning videos, and like I said, these crock pot videos are always a huge hit over here. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.